Hi everyone, this is Achal Soni. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share a few workarounds that you can use to change the display names of your calculations. Uh, so sometimes we, when we create calculations, we are not able to give the uh, desired or relevant names because uh, sometimes the names are already present um, in the data source itself and Tableau doesn't allow you to have two uh, uh, fields with the same name. So we'll see how you can customize this. You can see over here I have Calc Eastern Segments which is a custom calculation and this theme doesn't look user friendly to me. Uh, so we'll discuss the workarounds. Let's get started. So the first workaround is you simply create a duplicate of your field of your calculation. This method is useful only when um, you don't have too many fields for which you want to change the display name. Uh, so I'll create a new calculation. Uh, utilize this calculation over here. And now suppose I want to give the exact name which is there in my database, which is segment. All right, it won't allow me to give the exact name. So um, there are further uh, two options available. What you can do is either um, change the casing of this one. So it will allow you to create a calculated field with such a name um, or else you can capitalize all words as well, all letters. Um, if not, if you want to keep it in proper case, then what you do is just add a face to this name. So this name becomes unique. It doesn't matches with the one which is there in your data source and you can simply utilize the second method is that you um, change the name of your field over here itself in the fill. Uh, so this workaround comprises three steps. You double click on this fill over here. In the beginning, use a forward slash two time. Then you give the name. Uh oh. You give the name. In the second step, what we'll do is hit shift enter. Now what happens over here is the name has got split into two lines. The first line uh, contains the name with a comment and in the second line it comprises the field name and then you hit enter. So um, the display name gets changed over here. This method has got its advantages and disadvantages. Uh, the advantage is that you don't need to create duplicates. When you want to create, suppose, a big table which has got multiple calculations and you want to give relevant names to those calculations, in that case, you don't want to create the duplicates. Um, so use this method over there. Um, now, Coming to the disadvantages is that this um, naming convention, this process is not reusable, which means if you want to utilize this calculation again in some other sheet, uh, it would be raw. It won't contain uh, that uh, commented uh, name over here. So you'll have to follow the process all over again. Um, and also coming to aliases, Suppose you change the aliases uh, of this calculation over here. Even these become um, just for one time use. Um, I'm removing this and, and, and pull this up again for demonstration. So you can see the aliases are not coming up and neither the header. Versus uh, when you create a, an original calculation, when you give the names over here, the aliases and the names stay intact. So if I change the aliases over here, um, these will stay intact across your workbook. So let's bring in. 
so this is the difference pick up the methods according to your use case um also remember this one uh, where we have changed the name in the pill itself this method is limited only for dimensions you can't use this method on measures so now for measures what you need to do is use measure names and measure values okay so let's bring this over here now see uh, we have got these measure values let's just keep the relevant one all right now i want to change the name of discount it can be some calculation as well over here uh, well let's create a calculated field let's say sale asterisk let's bring this over here and now i want to change the name of this calculation what i'll do is i'll go to measure names right click and aliases uh, just remember that these aliases are different from what you see in dimensions. In dimensions, the aliases allow you to change the um, dimension values directly and not the field names. But with measure names, you can change the field names and not the measure values directly. So I have this calculation one over here. I want to say sales L9 okay you can say let's see it has got changed over here now similarly when you create a uh, window calculations um even in those cases your calculation gets changed so um let's apply a table calculation over here percent of total maybe uh let's switch this to entire so um now it will also show you that how the calculation is getting computed along table across and this information you don't want to show in your um, header at least so what you'll do again go to measure names aliases and then you change the name over here uh, let's call it as window calc I'm, I'm just giving a random name over here just give the names according to your um use cases so um these are the three methods according to which you can change the dimension names um if you have got any more workarounds then drop the solutions in the comments below that's all